What's up, y'all? This is really y'all back on another video. Yes, sir. And today we have to talk about the rumors that the Dallas Mavericks was allegedly shopping Kristaps Porzingis to see what his value was in the trade market. But before we get into that, I think that a smash that subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed to my channel, share it to somebody who ain't subscribed because we are still on that grind. And when y'all are done with that, I need y'all to smash that like button because we have to make the algorithm share this video. And with y'all, like I said before, we can get there. But with all that being said, we got to talk about these alleged KP rumors. Now, I must say, I'm one of those type of people who believe the Dallas Mavericks should not trade KP, right? And I see a lot of people in the comments on Facebook, Twitter, basically saying the Dallas Mavericks need to shop KP. They need to trade KP and get some other assets. But I don't think that's I don't think that's real. I don't think that's a long term solution. And I just don't think that's really the answer, right? If anything, I think the Dallas Mavericks is really just getting exploited on their death, right? And a lot of that is attributed to y'all not really making any strong moves in the offseason, right? Which on earlier videos that I've made, I've mentioned that, right? And a lot of people was questioning me because they thought that, you know, I was just being blind or I was just being biased. But in reality, it's true. And I think the more and more games we see, we're starting to see the little death that Dallas Mavericks truly have because of the weak offseason they had, right? Now, luckily for the Dallas Mavericks, they have a competent front office who realizes that they need to make some moves, but the moves they need to make is not trading KP. Now, am I okay with them shopping KP? Absolutely. Anybody should because they're just trying to see the value, right? And a lot of people might even say, uh, Mark Cuban just went on air basically saying they wasn't shopping KP. Those rumors was false. But honestly, I feel like that response was really a PR response. So even if they was, they can't just openly go on the mic and say, I'm shopping KP when KP is listening to this. You get what I'm saying? Like that wouldn't be a tactical or ethical uh, move from any standpoint, especially when KP is still on the team. And the Dallas Mavericks, like I said in previous Dallas Mavericks videos I've made, they must be aggressive on the free agents that's been waived this offseason, right? Because right now, we see that DeMarcus Cousins is on the waivers, right? Blake Griffin could potentially be on the waivers, right? I hope not, but Andre Drummond could potentially be on the waivers, and these are three players they really, really need on their roster. They need a big, right? And I feel like in the trade market, they must be aggressive because honestly, y'all know I'm a Cavs fan, but y'all could honestly potentially trade for JaVale McGee for a cheap price. And y'all could really utilize a center like JaVale McGee, especially when y'all are a playoff tier team. And JaVale McGee knows what it, what it takes and what he got to do for a playoff team. He knows his role, right? He's not going to get in the way of KP. He's not going to get in the way of Luka Doncic. If anything, he's going to help them defensively, which y'all need a player like that, right? So the Dallas Mavericks must be aware of the players that's going to the free agent market and who's going to be on the trade market, right? And this is why I think somebody asked me a question earlier. Not regarding the Dallas Mavericks, but in terms of Cleveland, when they asked me, um, when do you think Seti Osman uh, could potentially be traded if he is traded? And I think, and I told him, I think it's going to be closer to the trade deadline because a lot of these teams want to see how the trade deadline is shaping up because they don't want to jump the gun and it turns out a player that was really, really good is now on the market because, you know, they couldn't make any moves in the trade deadline. This is why I think the Dallas Mavericks must be alert, potentially wait a little bit closer to March and say, hey, these are the players that's open and let's make a move on them because right now the Dallas Mavericks desperately need a big. I think we all can agree. And they definitely need some assets to fill out their, their bench because they definitely need some death right now. They need some shooters. And like I said before, they need some bigs. Want to join a community of people who likes to debate and post memes and news about basketball? Well, join my Discord and join the grind season. Let's build a community of passionate NBA fans. The link will be down in the description box below. See you there. And of course, we got to talk about the trade rumors because as soon as it was rumors that the Dallas Mavericks was shopping KP, 
We got rumors that the Golden State Warriors hit their line as soon as possible saying, hey, let's make a deal. And of course, you know, nothing happened of that, you know, but a lot of people was assuming that they threw Andrew Wiggins, Kelly Oubre, maybe some first round picks and was like, hey, is that good enough? And honestly, I think the Dallas Mavericks is in a position, yes, they want some death, but they're not doing it on the risk of not having a secured second option, which none of those assets I've named is a true second option because they're not throwing Draymond. They're not throwing Klay Thompson. They're not throwing Curry. And honestly, the Dallas Mavericks is trying to get a legitimate star, right? They're in a position, they're trying to shape a team that could be, that could potentially go to the finals, right? Like they're not trying to waste any of Luka Doncic's years. They're trying to get him experience in the playoffs, high in the playoffs, because they see what Luka Doncic could be. And honestly, I understand it. And I, I'm pretty sure Dallas Mavericks fans understand it too. And for more amazing content, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of the grind. And with that being said, go. Hey, hey, motivated all about cash flow, ran it up and ran out of the skills. In the field and we turn into hoops. For the clip like mine, we show. Just like some soldiers, we trooping. Step back three, we hooping. We on house, just like Fortnite.